What if your DNA held the key to a story thousands of years old? A story of ancient kingdoms, conquests, and survival against all odds? The Jewish people have endured for millennia, carry with them a culture, a faith, and a genetic legacy unlike any other. Despite being scattered across the globe, from the deserts of the Middle East to the forests of Eastern Europe, Jewish populations share unique genetic markers that link them to a common ancestry. How is it possible that communities separated by thousands of miles and hundreds of years still carry the same genetic fingerprints? And what can these ancient traces tell us about their origins, migrations, and even historical events recorded in sacred texts? In this video, we're unlocking the genetic code of the Jewish people. We'll dive into the roots of their DNA in ancient Israel, trace the impact of pivotal events like the Babylonian exile and Roman dispersion, and explore the formation of distinct Jewish populations like the Ashkenazi, Sephardi, and Mizrahi communities. We'll also look at rare genetic traits, the discovery of the Cohen gene in descendants of the ancient Jewish priesthood, and how modern science is reconnecting lost Jewish communities to their heritage. By the end of this journey, you'll see that Jewish DNA isn't just a biological blueprint. It's a living testament to endurance, identity, and the unbreakable thread of history that connects generations. The genetic story of the Jewish people begins in the ancient lands of Levant, a region that includes present-day Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Jordan, and parts of Syria. This area, rich with history and home to ancient civilizations like the Canaanites and Phoenicians, served as the birthplace of the early Israelites. Modern genetic research confirms that Jewish populations today share a significant amount of genetic material with ancient Levantine peoples. Studies analyzing DNA from ancient bones found in Israel and nearby regions reveal a direct genetic link to contemporary Jewish communities, especially those with roots in the Middle East. This connection is so strong that scientists can pinpoint shared ancestry dating back over 3,000 years. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from the analysis of mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down to the maternal line, and the Y chromosome inherited through the paternal line. These genetic markers show that Jews from vastly different regions, like Morocco and Russia, share distinct genetic sequences that trace back to the same ancient population. Interestingly, Jews also carry genetic markers found in neighboring Middle Eastern populations like the Druze and Lebanese people, further emphasizing their ancient regional origins. But what makes Jewish DNA unique is a combination of these ancient roots with centuries of migration, adaptation, and survival in foreign lands. This deep genetic connection to the Levant isn't just a scientific curiosity. It validates historical accounts of the early Israelite tribes and their presence in the land. It shows that Jewish identity is quite literally etched into their DNA, forming a biological bond to the land that shaped their culture, religion, and sense of belonging. This ancient genetic signature would endure through centuries of upheaval. But the next chapter in the story will be written in exile. Jewish DNA tells a story not just of origins, but survival through some of history's most brutal upheavals. Two pivotal events, the Babylonian exile and the Roman destruction of the Second Temple, scattered Jewish communities across vast regions, shaping their genetic makeup in profound ways. In 586 BCE, the Babylonians conquered Jerusalem, destroyed the first temple, and forced much of the Jewish population into exile in Babylon, modern-day Iraq. While some Jews eventually returned to rebuild Jerusalem, others remained, creating long-lasting Jewish communities in Mesopotamia and Persia. Genetic studies show traces of this ancient migration, with modern Iraqi and Iranian Jews carrying markers that link them to Levant, but also show subtle influences from surrounding populations. Centuries later, in 70 CE, the Roman Empire crushed the Jewish revolt, destroyed the Second Temple, and expelled countless Jews from Judea. This event marked the beginning of the Jewish diaspora, with communities spreading to North Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. As Jews settled in new lands, their DNA began to mix with local populations. But surprisingly, core genetic traits tied to their Levantine ancestors remained remarkably preserved. For example, Ashkenazi Jews, who settled in Eastern Europe, share genetic signatures with Sephardic Jews from Spain and Mizrahi Jews from the Middle East, despite being separated by thousands of miles for centuries. Geneticists estimate that around 80% of Ashkenazi Jews' maternal ancestry can be traced back to ancient Israel, 
demonstrating how tightly Jewish communities held on to their heritage despite external pressures. The genetic legacy of exile is a testament to the Jewish people's resilience. Their DNA carries the scars of displacement, but also the strength of continuity. Even as they adapted to new lands and cultures, they maintained a genetic link to their origins, a connection that defied the forces of history and helped keep Jewish identity alive across millennia. As Jewish communities spread across continents, their DNA began to evolve in distinct ways. Over centuries, isolated populations developed unique genetic profiles, creating subgroups like Ashkenazi, Sephardi, and Mizrahi Jews, each with their own remarkable genetic story. Ashkenazi Jews, who settled in Central and Eastern Europe, descended from a small population of Middle Eastern ancestors who migrated northward. Genetic studies reveal that despite intermingling with European populations, Ashkenazi Jews retain around 50% or more of their Levantine genetic ancestry. The other portion shows traces of European DNA, likely from converts or marriages within local communities during the early Middle Ages. Meanwhile, Sephardic Jews flourished in Spain and Portugal before the Inquisition forced them to scatter across North Africa, the Ottoman Empire, and the Balkans. Their DNA carries markers of ancient Israel, but also subtle influences from Iberian populations, reflecting their long history on the Iberian Peninsula before persecution pushed them out. Mizrahi Jews, who remain in the Middle East and North Africa, show a closer genetic relationship to ancient Israelites, with DNA largely preserved through centuries of living in regions near their ancestral homeland. Studies have shown that Mizrahi Jews share more genetic similarities with their ancient Levantine ancestors than even some European Jewish groups, emphasizing their deep-rooted connection to the land of Israel. Despite their geographic dispersion and the genetic variations that arose, all these Jewish subgroups share a significant genetic core that ties them back to the ancient Near East. This is why, when scientists compare the genomes of Jewish populations around the world, they find a genetic thread linking them all to common ancestors who lived thousands of years ago. The formation of distinct Jewish populations illustrates the adaptability of Jewish communities, blending with local cultures while holding on to their genetic identity. One of the most fascinating and sometimes tragic aspects of Jewish genetics is the result of genetic bottlenecks. A bottleneck happens when a small population gives rise to a much larger one, meaning certain genetic traits get amplified over generations. For Jewish communities, centuries of living in isolated, tight-knit groups intensified this effect. Take the Ashkenazi Jewish population as a striking example. Genetic studies show that modern Ashkenazi Jews descend from just a few hundred individuals who lived around 700 to 800 years ago. Because of the small founding population, certain gene variants became much more common than in the general population. This explains why Ashkenazi Jews have higher rates of inherited conditions like Tay-Sachs disease, Gaucher disease, and certain BRCA mutations linked to breast and ovarian cancers. These inherited traits, while posing serious health risks, have also provided scientists with a unique opportunity to study human genetics. For instance, the high prevalence of BRCA mutations in Ashkenazi Jews has helped researchers understand these canceling genes more deeply, leading to earlier screenings and life-saving preventive measures for those at risk. But bottlenecks didn't just affect Ashkenazi Jews. Sephardic and Mizrahi populations, while genetically diverse, also show traces of bottlenecks due to centuries of living in smaller, relatively isolated communities. For example, Certain blood disorders, like beta thalassemia, are more common in Jews from the Middle East and North Africa, another imprint left by genetic drift. Yet, this genetic legacy isn't just about disease. It's also a living record of resilience. Despite countless challenges, forced migrations, persecution, and the destruction of entire communities, the Jewish people endured. Their DNA tells a story not just of survival, but of adaptation and perseverance, carrying the genetic fingerprints of ancestors who weathered centuries of upheaval. What's incredible is that genetic research has allowed Jewish communities to reconnect with lost relatives, discover hidden lineage, and even uncover links to ancient ancestors they never knew they had. In this way, even the genetic bottlenecks that shape Jewish DNA are, paradoxically, a bridge to the past, a reminder of the incredible endurance of a people who refuse to disappear.
One of the most extraordinary discoveries in Jewish genetics is the existence of a genetic marker tied to the ancient priestly class, the Kohanim. According to Jewish tradition, the Kohanim are direct descendants of Aaron, the brother of Moses, and their lineage has been passed down for over 3,000 years. But could modern science prove this ancient claim? In the 1990s, geneticists studying the Y chromosome, the piece of DNA passed from father to son, found something astonishing. They identified a specific genetic signature, known as the Cohen modal haplotype, CMH, that appeared with striking frequency in men who identified as Kohanim. This haplotype was found in around 50 to 60 percent of Ashkenazi and Sephardic men who traced their ancestry to the priesthood, suggesting a shared paternal ancestor from thousands of years ago. What's even more remarkable is the timeline. By studying mutation rates, Researchers estimated that this genetic signature could trace back to a single male ancestor who lived around 3,000 years ago, aligning almost perfectly with the biblical timeline of Aaron. This discovery added scientific weight to millennia of oral tradition, linking modern Jews to their ancient ancestors through an unbroken chain of DNA. But the implications go even further. The presence of the Kohanim gene in Jewish men from vastly different regions from Eastern Europe to North Africa and beyond, shows how the Jewish priestly line persisted through centuries of exile and dispersion. It's a living genetic relic, a reminder of the deep historical continuity of the Jewish people. Beyond the Kohanim, genetic studies have also uncovered links to other biblical populations. DNA analysis has shown connections between modern Jews and ancient Levantine groups, strengthening the historical narrative of the Jewish people's origins in the land of Israel. This blending of science and tradition is a powerful reminder that DNA isn't just about biology. It's a time capsule. It holds the stories of ancestors who walked the streets of ancient Jerusalem, served in the temple, and carried their lineage through centuries of turmoil. For many Jews, discovering this genetic connection is more than just a scientific curiosity. It's a tangible link to their heritage, reinforcing their identity and deepening their understanding of where they come from. Genetics isn't just reshaping what we know about Jewish history. It's helping people rediscover their roots. DNA carries the imprints of the past. And for many Jews around the world, modern genetic research is like opening a long-locked door to their ancestry. One of the most impactful revelations has been the ability to reconnect lost or hidden Jewish communities. In places like Spain and Latin America, DNA testing has uncovered traces of Jewish ancestry in people whose families were forced to hide their heritage during the Spanish Inquisition. These discoveries have helped people reclaim forgotten identities, reconnecting them to Jewish traditions they never knew were part of their bloodline. DNA has also helped unite Jewish communities scattered across the globe. Studies have shown genetic links between Ashkenazi Jews in Europe, Sephardic Jews in North Africa and the Iberian Peninsula, and Mizrahi Jews in the Middle East. Despite centuries of separation, these groups share common ancestors, reinforcing the idea of a shared Jewish peoplehood that transcends geography. For many, learning about their Jewish DNA becomes a deeply personal experience. It adds a new layer of connection to Jewish history, turning biblical stories and ancient migrations into something tangible. The realization that your DNA carries the legacy of ancient Israelites, that your ancestors may have walked through the gates of Jerusalem or stood in the shadows of the temple, is incredibly powerful. But perhaps the most profound impact of this genetic research is the way it strengthens Jewish identity. In a world where questions of belonging can be complex, DNA offers an undeniable link to a collective past. It reminds Jews everywhere that their story is one of resilience, survival, and an enduring connection to their roots. The unique DNA of the Jewish people isn't just a quirk of genetics. It's a living testament to thousands of years of history, struggle, and perseverance. And every new discovery brings us closer to understanding the full, awe-inspiring scope of that legacy. So, whether you're Jewish or just fascinated by history, this genetic journey shows us that our DNA is more than just code. It's a bridge to the past, connecting us to stories that deserve to be told and identities that deserve to be celebrated.